I'm actually going to talk about myself, to be honest. Oh, okay. So I was a student at Pine in my young years. I went to a conventional school. I really liked it. I really loved school. I thought school really worked for me. Um, and it wasn't until school didn't work for my sister that we made a switch to a democratic school. And I was really intrigued. I was probably about 10 years old and was really intrigued about the things that she was doing compared to the things that I was doing. And uh, <laughs> after about six months, I made the switch myself. And I, again, was really happy. I really enjoyed my time. But it was only through that process that I began to realise how much my conventional schooling had held me back mm. by um, making me very really focused on outcomes and mm. getting things right and being a perfectionist rather than just exploring the wonderful depth and breadth of any of my ideas or projects or just going as far as I wanted to go and not having a limit put on that. I was a kid who really liked to please people and do the right thing and get all the answers right and not make any fuss or break any rules. And so then thrust into this environment, which was really all about who I was as a whole person mm. and having the opportunity to go, well, what do you actually really want to do? And don't worry about it being perfect. Let it be messy. Mm. Let it be creative. Let it be fun. The sky's the limit. Possibilities really worked for my kind of brain, my kind of creative project-based brain I felt really loved and supported in that in that environment so I sort of fell in love with democratic education from a, a student perspective uh, I went on to conventional high schools did really well did you know had a good time but I knew that this kind of environment existed so it made it easier to adapt to other environments and then when I became a teacher I didn't plan to work at Pine. I didn't plan uh -huh. to go back because I, you know, I, I wanted to explore the world and do lots of things and have that big experience that we often set our kids up for big experiences in the world. The world is amazing and full of great stuff. Mm -hmm. But my teacher who had been like a second mum to me was moving to New Zealand mm -hmm. at the time that I finished my teaching degree in early childhood. And she came to me and she said, Matilda, I really want you to apply to take to take my group and I said oh you know that's I'm not really sure about that it's it's thinking small I you know I want to mm. experience the system and, and teach in there and make changes and have a really great time but I couldn't really say no to her so I did throw my hat in the ring and it was my first teaching job out of, out mm. of college and I'm really really glad I did because mm. I learned so much more about myself as a teacher and was able to do so much more with the kids that I worked with working at Pine than I think I would have anywhere else. I had friends who all did early childhood teaching together and we all stayed very close in contact and I watched their journeys in other systems and places and I thought, mm. wow, I get to make so many more mistakes <laughs> as a teacher. I get to get it wrong so much more and then learn from that and reflect and our kind of schools and systems are so flexible. You know, there's when something doesn't work, we get together as a team and go, let's try something new and everything's open and everything's available. Whereas some teachers, unfortunately, are, are limited in what they can do by their systems and their schools. And so there may be a problem and they can think of different ways to, to solve that problem or the students can think of different ways to solve that problem. But there's so many constraints on what possibilities are in play. Whereas the democratic schools that I've worked in, I also founded a democratic high school. Um, it's oh, that, nice. that, that flexibility to really change things up, mix things up, see what's responsive to the community that you need at the time. So that's been mm -hmm. really great for me. Um, I don't often talk about my own journey because there's so many lovely <laughs> other people's journeys, but that was just the first, the first one that sprung to my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's great because we've actually, I've talked to a number of people who have now either you know like i you know learned in the school and then come back as yeah. staff or or in one case the founder's daughter kind of has carried on the tradition as the case may be so it's yeah, there's quite a few in australia as well who've got second generation or third generation now that we're starting to see that sec and it's um it's exciting and it's mm -hmm. also a good way to connect to what's changed and the traditions mm. of of the past and how important they are and also the the what's new and exciting for communities as they are because these are very flourishing innovative communities in general nice mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Cool. I also have three of my kids in democratic schools, so oh, nice. I've got that I've got that hat on as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so parent as well. That's neat. Yeah. And and are they all three in schools you either founded or are in currently? Yes, yes. Okay, there's cool. only in Brisbane where we are, there's only us. There's quite a few more around the state. Australia's very, very wide yeah. and vast and big. So we have connections with schools that may actually be hundreds and hundreds of kilometers away. So yeah. 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 Very cool. Um, no, very in Brisbane cool. it's just Pine and Humanities High School is our democratic high school. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.